This video provides a tour of the Qualys Knowledge Base, the most up-to-date and comprehensive vulnerability knowledge base in the security industry. To view the Qualys Knowledge Base, open the Vulnerability Management application, navigate to the Knowledge Base section, and select the Knowledge Base tab. Qualys Knowledge Base lists thousands of confirmed vulnerabilities, potential vulnerabilities, and information gathered data. Each item in the knowledge base is assigned a unique Qualys Identifier, or QID. The Qualys knowledge base is updated continuously with new QIDs containing new vulnerability signatures. The colorful icons associated with a QID represent the different properties or characteristics of its associated vulnerability. Here's a list of the various icons found in the Qualys knowledge base. A pencil icon identifies QIDs that have been edited by a manager user. Only the manager user role can edit QIDs in your account knowledge base. The green Wi-Fi antenna icon identifies vulnerabilities that can be detected remotely by a Qualys scanner appliance without the use of authentication. If authentication is required for successful vulnerability detection, the QID will be associated with this blue key icon. The red cross icon identifies vulnerabilities that are patchable. QIDs with the red cross icon typically provide a direct link to the vendor's patch. The black hat icon is used to identify vulnerabilities that have a known exploit. The red hazardous material icon identifies vulnerabilities associated with malware. The blue gear icon is associated with vulnerabilities that can potentially be protected from exploits by making specific configuration changes on the target host. The hex-shaped icon identifies vulnerabilities that are associated with services that are not currently running. To view vulnerability severity levels, click the widget icon and select the checkbox to display the severity column. Qualys severity levels are now associated with each QID. Let's take a closer look at the different severity color codes. The QIDs in the Qualys knowledge base are color coded to make it easier to distinguish between confirmed vulnerabilities, potential vulnerabilities, and information gathered data. Most of the vulnerabilities in the Qualys knowledge base have one or more active tests that can be used to confirm the presence of the vulnerability. Vulnerabilities of this type Confirmed vulnerabilities are color-coded red. If an active test is not available to confirm the presence of a vulnerability, it is categorized as a potential vulnerability and color-coded yellow. Potential vulnerabilities will typically need to be verified through your own manual investigation. Information gathered data, or IG data for short, consists of various configuration settings and other host inventory and scan information. Information gathered QIDs are not vulnerabilities and are color-coded blue. If you scroll through the Qualys knowledge base, eventually you'll come across a vulnerability severity that is half red and half yellow. These types of vulnerabilities have two very predictable scan results depending on your use of authentication. In the first example, a host is scanned without using authentication credentials. Qualys refers to this as an untrusted scan. QID 90244, one of the half red, half yellow QIDs, is detected, but without the benefit of authentication, it is displayed as a potential vulnerability. When the very same host is scanned again in authenticated mode, what Qualys refers to as a trusted scan, QID 90244 is detected and confirmed successfully illustrating the impact of authentication on the half-red, half-yellow QIDs. To help you determine which vulnerabilities to address or mitigate first, Qualys provides severity levels or rankings for both confirmed and potential vulnerabilities. A severity level 5 vulnerability is the most urgent because it presents the greatest risk to your organization. Potentially, a Severity 5 vulnerability could allow an attacker to gain root or admin privileges to the vulnerable host. Severity Level 3 and 4 vulnerabilities also involve some type of potential compromise of the host system or one of its applications or services. A Severity Level 1 vulnerability is the least urgent. Severity Level 1 and 2 vulnerabilities involve the disclosure of sensitive data that could potentially be very useful to an attacker 
organizations should develop a strategy for mitigating detected vulnerabilities based on these severity levels. Because of their increased risk and exposure, most organizations address the severity 3, 4, and 5 vulnerabilities first. However, the collective risk created by numerous low severity vulnerabilities should not be overlooked. Column options are also available to view different types of CVSS scores. The Common Vulnerability Scoring System is the de facto standard for the payment card industry data security standard. Although you'll find current and comprehensive vulnerability information right here in the Qualys Knowledge Base, you'll find additional links for various QIDs that will connect you to the Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures website, various software vendor websites, and bug track data provided by the Security Focus website. Click on any CVE, software vendor, or bug track link to extend the information already provided within the Qualys Knowledge Base. The published date of any QID identifies when Qualys added the QID to the Knowledge Base. Subsequent changes to the published QID will be reflected in the modified date. With tens of thousands of QIDs in the Qualys Knowledge Base, you'll want to take advantage of the numerous search options available in the Knowledge Base search tool. From the Knowledge Base tab, click the Search button. The search tool provides more than 30 different options for locating specific QIDs or types of vulnerabilities within the Knowledge Base, including QID number and vulnerability title. The discovery method will allow you to choose from remote discovery that does not use authentication, authenticated discovery, or both. Some of the search options feature a not operator, which allows you to exclude QIDs that match your search criteria. Search for vulnerabilities that already have an available patch or those that have no patch solution at all. You can perform searches using CVE IDs, various CVSS scores, bug track IDs, and even the date QIDs were published or modified. For this example, I'm going to search for all Severity 5 vulnerabilities, both confirmed and potential. When my search results are displayed, I can use the Quick Actions menu to view the information inside any QID. Each QID provides general information and details, including a vulnerability's associated threats, the impact or outcome of a vulnerability coming into contact with a known threat, and of course the solution for patching, fixing, or mitigating the vulnerability. Only a manager user can edit the QIDs in your account knowledge base. Although Qualys already assigns appropriate severity levels to each vulnerability, a manager user can make adjustments to these severity levels. Disabling a vulnerability here in the knowledge base will prevent the vulnerability from being displayed in your custom Qualys reports. Vulnerabilities that are disabled in this fashion are still detected and included in your raw scan results. Manager users can also add custom comments to the threat, impact, and solution sections of any QID. Any comments you add will appear in your custom reports. To remove editing changes from a QID, simply click the Restore Defaults button. The Knowledge Base Search Tool has search options that are especially relevant to Qualys users having or about to deploy Qualys Cloud Agent. Scrolling down near the bottom of the Search Tool options, you'll find the Supported Modules section. Here you can select checkboxes for the Windows Agent, Linux Agent, Mac Agent, and AIX Agent. Select the appropriate checkboxes for the agents you have or plan to deploy, and click Search to view the QIDs they cover or address. Thank you for watching this Qualys training video.